We wanted to start off by thanking our sponsors, Stable Kernel, Right Point, Stone Resource Group, and Carabina Communications. We also want to thank the premier sponsors for, for Women in Wireless, LinkedIn and Cox, and executive sponsor, Aris. We also wanted to thank our industry advocate partner, GSMA. We are always looking for sponsors, so if you or your organization is interested in sponsoring this amazing organization, come see one of us. The forum is also a membership-driven organization. There are fantastic benefits for joining as a member, um, and the member, members drive programs through their feedback, and members are also the audience that we get to count on. So we encourage all of you to join. With that, I wanted to pass it on to Steve. He has a special announcement to make. Thanks, Abby, and welcome, everybody. In 2004, we started the Wireless Technology Forum. A couple of us were sitting around a table and wanted to get some insights into something that was new. It wasn't working most of the time. And in fact, I, re I remember one of our meetings where we were talking about this thing called WiMAX, which was a way to light up a city way back when, which we heard that the trials were going unbelievable. And then the trees got leaves on them. <laughs> and that was the end of that story. So we, we, we've been in a world of mobility and wireless here at the forum for a long time. And, and we've been working over the last couple of years to figure out how do you take something that was unique and different a long time ago that became almost working to start it to work that is so part of everyday lives that we can be in our cars, on our phones, listening to our music while ordering on Amazon, all hands free, as long as a policeman doesn't see you, um, and, and realizing that for the last two years, the forum has migrated and changed what we're doing without really knowing what we're doing. And in a sense, our thoughts and our observations have been that since wireless is everywhere, are we really a special interest group? And how do we rethink how we move forward? What we've concluded is, is that what we've been doing at the forum for the last couple of years without knowing it, through a bunch of uh, homework and research we've done, is that we've been really talking about things like innovation disruptive technologies, and we've been working really hard at trying to give you all a little sense of what's coming over the horizon that we're maybe a little bit dangerous on or don't know anything about, but we do that by bringing some incredible people onto our panels, into our education groups, into our meetings, and help share with you all some of these insights that we just don't get every day, even though we're connected the way we're all connected. So what we've decided to do is we've decided to take the forum, and over the next couple of months, we're going to be building out a new brand. And I'm here today to do nothing more than just to share with you what our new brand is. We're going to have our meeting. we got a ton of work to do, all the details um, now, and expect us to light up come August with a new brand. To build on what we've been doing for the last couple of years and what we plan to do in the future, the wireless forums will become the Atlanta Innovation Forum. Our women in wireless, our special interest group is going to be women in driving innovation. Our mobile marketing group is going to be marketing innovation group. And our wireless forum top innovator is going to be an Atlanta Innovation Forum top innovator. And we have a bunch of other Crazy ideas, interesting things, and we look forward to you to coming out. Uh, we will confuse you over the next couple of months, I assure you, as we all do with a brand. And our goal, because we're going to set the bar real low, is we, our goal is to have less of a problem than our friends at SunTrust and BBT have just gone through. And the good news is we don't expect to be sued. So um, we just want to let you know we have some great things coming around. Some things are going to be the same. Some things are going to improve and change because we do listen 
and um, we're real excited about that. Last thing I want to do is thank some important people. And I'll let you applaud afterwards. We put together a strategic working group. And I'm going to, I know you can read their names, but Steve, Suzanne, Caroline, David, Alicia, Elizabeth, and Addie, they have countless hours on top of their regular work at the forum, which we didn't let them give up, as well as they all have real paying jobs. So uh, first of all, we want a special thanks there. Let's give a round of applause. Any of you who are here, why don't you stand up, even though probably most of you are in the back of the room. And then last shout out is to a, a good old friend at a forum, Tim, 14 years ago, built the original wireless technology forum uh, logo for us. He worked with us. We drove him nuts in going through a new branding exercise. If anybody had ever gone through a new branding exercise, uh, and uh, Tim, Tim remains a good friend, and I'll let you know by the time we get done with it if he still is. But I want to thank you all for your patience here, and um, we have some exciting things coming for the rest of the year. And uh, news at 11, right? And just kind of some housekeeping, our next event is going to be August 15 here at the Village, third Thursday. Our Women in Wireless has a July 9th meeting. Women Shaping Autonomous and Intelligent Technology, please join. July 11, disregard the slide. And you'll notice how much I argued about that one. Um, July 11th, we apologize and the notice will go out correctly.